Hello everyone. Welcome to LICD Miscellaneous Topic 1A. Today we are going to discuss the design of inverting smooth trigger with symmetric and asymmetric hysteresis. So let us start. So the design number one says that we have given the upper threshold point as four volts and the lower threshold point as minus two. And also they have given that plus or minus Vsat we have to assume it as plus or minus 10.7 volts. So first of all, this is my circuit which we will design. So this will take care of both uh, asymmetrical and uh, symmetric hysteresis and it can it, it will be common for both uh, designs basically. So with this we can design with uh, any value of uh, you know not only symmetric but asymmetric also. So we have a diode D2 connected to register R3, D1 connected to R2 and R1 register. So let us start with this scenario. This is my inverting symmetrical circuit with diodes. So solution is uh, we have to design it for plus or minus Vsat as 10.7 and uh, VUTP is 4 volts and VLTP is minus 2. So let's consider the first scenario. Now we know the hysteresis curve for the inverting Smith trigger. So if we have a VUTP as for plus 4, the output is at plus Vsat that is plus 10.7. So if output is at plus 10.7, what can you determine about the state of these diodes? Yes, you are thinking correct. So here, my diode number D1 will be on, whereas D2 will be off. When output is at plus 10.7. So if my D2 is off, it will be replaced by a open, it will behave as an open circuit. So that entire network that is R3 and uh, D2 will become redundant. Hence, we can redraw the circuit as follows. So my original circuit has reduced to this with a diode D1, R2 and R1. Right now, currently the state is that uh, V out is at plus 10.7 and uh, when the diode D1 is on, it is replaced by a VD on uh, you know, supply that is 0.7 volts and followed by R2 and R1 and this is my V plus terminal. So can I rearrange it now for formally? So yeah, so 10.7 minus 0.7 that will lead to 10 volts. So into R2 uh, and we have connected R2 and R1 and we are taking V plus from here. So we can simply apply a voltage division rule and we can write V plus is equal to R1 upon R1 plus R2 into, uh, I mean, uh, we have Vsat here. This is my Vsat minus 0.7. So that will become 10 actually, right? So the original formula will stay at, I mean, whenever uh, V out is at plus Vsat, my plus is at VUTP. So VUTP is equal to R1 upon R1 plus R2 into plus Vsat minus VD on. Correct? Since we have diodes. And V plus is 0.7 and uh, VD on, uh, sorry, v, Vsat is 0.7 and uh, VD on is 0.7. So this becomes 4. VUTP is 7, 4. And this 10.7 minus 0.7 becomes 10. So 4 is equal to R1 upon R1 plus R2 into 10. If you work out algebraically, you will get R2 is equal to 3 by 2 times R1, which will be, if we consider R1 as 10 kilo ohm, my R2 will come out to be 15 kilo ohms. So we have designed the values of R1 and R2. Now we'll go to the lower threshold point. Okay. So scenario number two is when my when I reached my output of lower threshold point, that is, uh, you know, minus uh, 2 volts, my output voltage, my input is at, uh, you know, a lower triggering point of minus 2, my output is at minus Vsat. That means my output is at minus 10.7. So if my output is at minus 10.7, which of the diodes will be on? Yes, D2 will be on and D1 will be off. So D1, R2 will, I mean, D1 will be acting as an open circuit. So this R2 into D1 uh, network will be open. I mean, will be become redundant. So we can remove it from it, from the diagram. So the reduced, the modified diagram becomes uh, V out, D2, we have R R3 and R1. So right now, currently my V out is at minus 10.7. Remember in a Smith trigger, we have only two states of output, either plus Vsat or minus Vsat. So here we are dealing with minus 10.7. Whenever the diode is on, it is replaced by a VD on. So I can reduce this network to this. So this is minus 10.7 plus 0.7 and we have R3 and R2 wherein V plus is taken out. So V plus is given by R1 upon a uh, simple voltage division rule R1 upon R1 plus RT, R3 into minus 10.7 plus 0.7. Okay. So whenever my output is at minus V set, my V plus is at V LTP point. Correct. So VLTP is given by R1 upon R1 plus R2 into 
minus vsat plus vdon so that's what we write over here this minus vsat is minus 10.7 and vdon is 0.7 so minus 10.7 plus 0.7 becomes minus 10 and v v ltp is minus 2 so if you cross multiply the things and solve it algebraically you will get r3 in terms of r1 uh, particularly r3 is equal to 4 times r1 so if r1 is 10 kilo ohm r3 will be 40 kilo ohm and i think that's what we complete the design and we have got r1 r is already taken 10 kilo ohms earlier so we take it as uh, 10 kilo ohm only and r3 will come out to be 40 so this is my design circuit so we have r3 value was found out to be 40 kilo ohm R2 was 15, R1 was, R1 is 10 kilo. And the dads which we select over here is uh, 1 and 4148. The op which you can select in LT spice will be OP07. Okay, now let us, I mean, this is the expected hysteresis curve, plus 10, minus 10, and here you will, I mean, here it is uh, not exactly plus 10, it should be plus 10.7. Sorry, by mistake, I've written as 10. So the, the, the plus or minus VSAT should be 10.7. So it's a by mistake written over here, minus 10. Please kindly uh, note that. This should be 10.7 and this should be minus 10.7. So V UTP will be plus 4, V LTP will be minus 2. So what we will do is we'll go to LT spice and verify this values. So let us do that. Okay. So the circuit is already made up for your reference. So as you can see very clearly, this is my let me just show you all this. Okay, so the circuit to your left and to your right are exactly similar. Uh, even the register names are the same. R3, D2, R2, D1 and this is R1. And uh, R1 is 10K, R2 is 15K, R3 is 40K. And the power supply we have given as plus or minus 12. So we want plus or minus Vsat as 10.7. Uh, so we'll see that how it works. So now right now we have given peak to peak value of 10 volts. Let us observe the, output, the hysteresis curve. So here is my input and output. I'll change this to time to V in. Okay, so this is what my hysteresis curve will look like. It is similar to what we have predicted over here, except that fact that here there is one mistake that I instead of plus 10, it is plus 10.7, and instead of minus 10, it is minus 10.7. That's the only thing. Rest all it's similar. So yeah, as you can see, this is the perfectly the, the, the way it is looking like. And here, if I check the positive, it's around 11. Actually, we wanted it to be 10.7, but it's coming out to be 11. And the lower value is coming out to be minus 11.05. So that's particularly fine. Now, let's check the values of V UTP and V LTP. So it is the point here over here. So I can, I can expand this point. And I can check the XY coordinate. You can check the XY coordinate down. It's coming out to be minus 2.42. Uh, volts and on this side I'm getting around um, 4.51 so it, it's it's deviating a little but that's fine so let us see that uh, desired value is plus 4 and minus 2 but uh, we are getting around oh we are getting around 4.2 that's because uh, when we want the output to be around uh, you know plus reset and minus reset to be around 10.7 we need to give around here because for uh, I think for OPAM the OP07 it's give one volt less if we give here the supply voltage 10.7 and negative of also as 10.7, my plus reset and minus reset hopefully should be 10.7. Close to that. Let us check that. Yeah, it's coming out to be over here 9 point something. Oh, sorry, 11.7. We have to give it as 11.7. Then it will come as 10.7. So that's that's only only because we have designed it for plus or minus Vsat as uh, ten point seven. So it's very obvious that if we, if we can select any voltage in LT spice. So yeah, it's coming out to be ten point seven five. That's quite close. And the negative level is also ten point seven five. And now if we pick the values over here, this is coming out to be minus two point three uh, something. Yeah, that's 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 absolutely fine. And here it is coming out to be four point three six something. So VUTP and LTP are quite close. Uh, well, they are coming. They will be exact if we have accurately determined the value of Vsat uh, as uh, 10.7 and minus Vsat as minus 10.7. Now, what we do is we'll try to increase the input amplitude to 12, and let us observe what will be the changes. 
package. So the changes will be uh, your VSAT level is 10.75 minus. That's that's not changing. So plus or minus VSAT will be around 21. And uh, let us check the values of VUTP and LTP. So V here we can check it out more clearly around zero. So it's around 2.4 uh, minus 2.4 something. And here we are getting around 4.42. So that's the values which we are getting. And we can check this in the input output waveforms also. I mean, this will be register this curve proper. And whenever I make this as three, amplitude as three, that means lower than the threshold points, my hysteresis curve will disappear. See, it has disappeared completely. So that is what will happen. Now I'll go back to around 10 volts and we can check it alternatively with the input output waveform also. So I'll go over here, change the X axis as time. So this will become V out versus time. And now I can plot, go ahead, go ahead and plot V in also. So that's my V in. So whenever this V in crosses this V out, this point will be my V LTP. So basically this point is over here around 4.25 as you can see. This will be more accurate determination than the hysteresis curve. And this point whenever it crosses the lower point, this is called as V LTP. So this is around minus 2.31. So that's what we are getting over here in the table. So this complete, I mean, uh, the, this is how we can check it for uh, all the cases. That is V in equal to 10 volts peak, 12 volts peak and 3 volts peak. So whenever we make input as 3 volts peak, my output, uh, I mean, the circuit will stop behaving as a mid trigger. Uh, so basically, this is what the output will look like. So see, the output is at only plus. How much it is? Let us check. Output is at 10.75. That's it. That that be positive number. So output is at positive saturation basically. If my input is lesser than the threshold points, V U T P and N T P. So there is no hysteresis. It will not work as an inverting mid trigger. Okay, fine. Now let us go and check with the second design. This was the first design. So this is the way we can we can check in and verify your design in LTSpice. Now let us go back to our circuit. Okay. So let us see that the same circuit can be used for designing the symmetric mid trigger also. So let's say that V U T P and L T P is plus or minus four. And again, all the things remaining the same. Plus or minus V sat is 10.7 and minus 10.7 so we have already seen the analysis that for scenario number one just now that we whenever v utp is plus four my output is at plus for 10.7 and my circuit reduces and i got the value this is same actually same as before so i got the value of r1 and r2 as 10 and 15 kilo ohm. so you can follow this procedure and you'll get the same result why we are getting the same result because earlier example also in the earlier design also we were getting utps plus four so for UTP plus four, my R1 and uh, yeah R1 and R2 value are 10 kilo ohm and 15 kilo ohm as previously. Now only thing it will change is for LTP equal to minus four. So whenever LTP is equal to minus four, V out is minus 10.7, and whenever it is minus output is at minus 10.7, D1 will be off and D2 will be on. So if I can, if if, if so D1 will be removed from the circuit as it behave as open circuit, and I left out with this so. This will be minus 10.7. This will be plus, uh, you know, minus 10.7 plus 0.7, and you have R3 and R1. So over here, V plus we can add it as, which is equal to V LTP R1 upon R1 plus R2 into minus V sat plus V D on. Here we can say how does minus 10 has come? Minus 10.7 plus 0.7. So that's how we got here minus 10. So in the last design, this was uh, minus 2, but right now it is minus 4. So since it is a symmetric design. If you work it out, I get the value of R3 as 3 by 2 times R1. R1 we have earlier considered to be 10 kilo ohm, we'll consider the same. So if R1 is 10 kilo ohm, my R3 will be 3 by 2 times 10, that will be 15k. So you will see that uh, we have got the values of uh, you know R1, R2, and R3, and the diodes which we have selected is 1 and 4148. So let us quickly check this out in LT Spice and check this table. Now let me open this circuit. So what I will do is I'll just modify it over here. Only one thing to change. This should be 15k. That's it. And we can go back to around 12 volts. Okay. And we'll simulate this circuit. Let us see if we are getting a similar to, you know, symmetric hysteresis or not. 
oh right now the input is at 3 volts i need to give it as 10 volt speak at 3 volts there, there will be no hysteresis okay fine so let us investigate now so as you can see my this whenever my input cut this output at this at upper half this will be my oh sorry yeah this point will be my uh, value of uh, b uh, uh, utp so this is around 4.3 something 4.378 and we are getting 4.3 we should get 4 but we are getting 4.378 that's absolutely fine and let us check the negative value also the vltp it should also be symmetric and that is more more important basically okay so this number is coming out to be 4. Point, uh, it's coming out to be 4. Point, uh, let us wait 4.4 basically close to 4.4 so that's absolutely fine Uh, we are here we are getting around 4 we should get minus 4 but we are getting 4.4 so that's quite close to 4.3 in the positive side so yes uh, we are getting it correctly and uh, now what we do is we can check the hysteresis curve here also it will it should look symmetric it will be symmetric basically so i'll plot v in this is hysteresis curve is v in versus v out so i'll remove this v in from here so the x axis is my v in and y axis is my v out so basically let's check over here my vsat is 11 point something so that will be minus 11 point something you are getting around 22.05 peak to peak value of the output what's my uh, so it it's looking symmetric as you can see it's symmetric about zero on the on the left hand side and right hand side so that's not a problem but here the value of utp is coming out to be somewhere around 4 point something uh and here it is coming out to be again 4.46. So, so that's the symmetric hysteresis curve which we are, which we have were studying about. So, let me show you over here. Yeah. So, this is this circuit is. I mean, giving this circuit is giving my uh, symmetric hysteresis curve. Okay. Again, one. Uh, I mean, one suggestion. I mean, one correction over here. The plus V set should be 10.7 and minus V set should be minus 10.7 and not as 10 and minus 10. Okay, so I think this is the way we can check out, uh, you know, design uh, our circuit for symmetric and asymmetric hysteresis curves. I guess we have completed the objective of uh, today's session. So next time we'll study another circuit using op-amps. So until then, have a good day and thank you.